What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bang of the day, guys, with my thousand round review on the Art React 19.3. Now this is the Art React from Art Division of the 19.3, the night or the Reactor 19.3, which the point three is for, of course, the gen that it is in, which is a Glock 3 gen. But you can also utilize this on a Glock 4. Um, I think you can also utilize it on a Glock 5, but there will be some differences there as well. For the Glock 4, one of the main differences that was needed was there was a difference in the spring mechanism, which you can find like a little adapters that I was able to find for um, from Strike Industries that helps you with finding that. But that was back when I first did this review. Since then, I actually got a Glock 19 Gen 3 frame for this and everything fits fantastic. And of course, the big thing about the reactor, my bad, I forgot to put C on there, is that it is compensated. Now we've been actually messing around with a lot of different compensated Glock 19s. We have or I would say clones. We have the Shadow Systems MR920 that is a Glock 19 gucci out, but it has a threaded barrel and we added the compensator that Shadow Systems has for that. And we also recently got in, I haven't shown y'all, but I will tell y'all the Radian Weapons, um, the compensator, the Ramjet and Afterburner that is featured on that as well. The thing is, and I'm gonna do a video comparing all three of them, but the thing is that makes the Arc Divisions reactor different is that this is actually a part of the gun, whereas those are attachments to the end of the barrel. This is actually ported within the barrel, so you get the same size as that Glock 19. Those two other ones are, I would say, kind of extended versions. I mean, the, the, the Shadow Systems one almost makes the gun a damn Glock 17, maybe if not even longer, same goes for Radian. Not to knock them, and I wanna see definitely how those feel compared to this, but if you are someone that's really trying to stay within the parameters of a Glock 19, but you want a compensated gun along with it, this is definitely the way to go. And coming with this gun, you have, you know, the upper itself comes the whole entire slide. You got the barrel, you got the sights. They do offer them in packages. Sometimes they don't offer them in packages where you can go and buy the sights, you know, separately at the end of the day, if that's something that you want to do. But these in particular came with high sights that allow me to also co-witness with my hollow sun at the end of the day. And we're running the 508 on here. And this gun for the most part has been phenomenal. I love it. It's compensated at the end of the day. I mean, I do like the fact that running, you know, threaded barrels on guns, especially, you know, for pistols is cool and all, but in actuality, as far as like something that you want to carry, you're not going to be able to carry a Glock 19 with a suppressor. I mean, they make, they make, you know, holsters for that, but nothing on the inside, on the inside waist. So if you want to have a compensated Glock 19, this is probably one of your best options out here that you're gonna be able to get your hands on and be able to run it and then also keep it within that parameter of Glock 19, which in my opinion is, I would say one of the, on the far inside of what I wanna carry. Like anything bigger than a Glock 19 on the appendix inside the waistband, starting to get a little too big for me personally, but depending on the weather as well, if it's really, 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 you know, cold outside and I wanna wear jackets and layers and I could probably get away with it, but, I feel like a Glock 19 platform is gonna give you a solid throughout the whole entire year type of feel. The gun, the finish, uh, the look, fabulous at the end of the day. This thing shoots amazing at the end of the day. The compensator, you can feel it actually work. You can see it actually work because when you're shooting it, it's definitely showing that where that compensated is going, the compensation is going and it's going up, which is then keeping the barrel down and not, you know, mitigating recoil a lot because you got all that pressure coming out the top. That is then, of course, keeping you on target. Um, I really don't have any issues with this gun whatsoever. I love the Glock 19, uh, the Gen 3 frame that goes along with it, fits perfectly with it. I've seen people run, you know, the Icarus Precision. Um, I've seen also people running uh, Arc, uh, not Arc Division, but Zev frames with this one as well. It's compatible with all those, but good old Glock never did me wrong. You have cutouts on the barrel that takes away a lot of that weight alongside with that ported, you know, alongside with the ported, alongside with that port right there on top of the slide. And as I stated before, there's a port on the slide. And of course there's a port on the barrel. And this is like I stated before, it's not like the, uh, the X macros from SIG or even as stated before with you got, 
from shadow systems and from, uh, well, I would say Radian is a part of the barrel. I wanna say Radians is a part of the barrel. They're compensated, but with shadow systems, you got the gun and then the barrel, and then you got the compensator on the end of the barrel. It's not a part of the barrel. This is a part of the barrel. The barrel itself is ported. And I would say, and you feel free to correct me in the comment section, I feel like there's a slight difference between a uh, compensated chamber or whatever, it was an integrated chamber, that's what they call it. The, the slide that sticks out more than the barrel that has the ports. I feel like there's a difference there than a gun that's barrel is actually ported because the bullet is actually within the firing. I mean, they, I guess they're both still going through and the chamber itself is acting like a part of the barrel as well. Let me know. I just feel personally there's a difference in the recoil and the mitigation of it through this than of the shadow systems. The Radian definitely feel like it's more in line with this, but this comes as is you don't have to buy any additional thing you buy the gun you buy the slide you get it all in one piece not buying a glock 19 then adding in a barrel adding in this if this is some way you want to go you definitely can go this route and you're going to get a very solid gun at the end of the day and as i stated before i've mentioned this how glock is very similar in the aspect of how firearms are the lower which is the polymer frame here is the serialized part the actual firearm let me do a magic trick here you go this part this is not a firearm this is just a slide so keep that in mind and youtube keep that in mind this is what we're talking about this is what we're talking about today this is the arc division reactor 19.3c this is just a slide this is the firearm this is the serialized part so you can get this but getting this you got to go through an ffl I was just thinking about this like later, like Glock definitely needs to look into modular, like modularity and, ma and making their gun modular. PSA just dropped their uh, information on the switch, which is pretty much this. It's pretty much still that Glock format, but modular, where it's an actual FCU, fire control unit that is serialized and the frames are what are able to be interchanged from a bigger frame, smaller frame. And that works with this. I mean, you can use, as stated before, any type of Z frame you want to go along with this. And I'm pretty sure down the pipeline, we'll see more frames and more modularity coming into this Glock 19 type of platform. For instance, as I stated, I would like like a Glock 45 frame with a 19 slide, which is the 19X, right? Or the Glock 45, as they would call it. We'll see more of that probably coming down the pipeline, but you don't have to go and get the serialized part there. Your fire control unit will be what's serialized. But all in all, man, like I stated before, the thing shoots fabulous, it sh shoots extremely flat. I'm very happy with this at the end of the day. Um, definitely something that I'm now adding into my rotation because I wanna make sure I always put tons of rounds through a firearm before I start carrying it with confidence. You know, I wanna make sure that it's actually going to shoot and work so i've been putting rounds through it like i stated before put thousand through it so far i do still want to put about 500 additional rounds of hollow point through it because that is also important as well but i haven't really had any feeding issues um there has been i would say there's been a few times we're shooting this that the slide did not go all the way back but I do think it has a lot now to do with the fact that, well, one, it is compensated. So it being compensated, the spring system is gonna be slightly different. I could possibly buy a better spring, which I would think I would need to buy a lighter spring since it is compensated, because there's less pushback now, because more pushback is going up here and less going back there. So it is not pushing back the slide as much. But I feel, I feel like, you know, breaking this in a little bit more, which this is a brand new spring for this frame, I need to break it in a little bit more. But also, I have been shooting now with a higher grip. I've been shooting with a higher grip where I used to shoot like this, right? I shoot, used to shoot pretty flat. I'm shooting with a higher grip now and putting a little bit more pressure on the frame up here. So I don't know if I need to loosen that up and that would like in turn help because putting more pressure is putting even more friction on the slide that it has to go through now to chamber those rounds. Because as, as I stated, when I had those hiccups going on, I was shooting like this and then I would readjust down lower and I wouldn't have the issue at all. But Arc Division, killing it. Looking forward to meeting them, meeting them guys, patching them over at SHOT Show. Looking forward to seeing what they got 
in the arsenal i've been stay they always are leaking in new information new stuff out but they're going to be dropping um i will link their instagram down below so you guys can check out their ig page and go from there but they put out fabulous pistols at the end of the day um definitely a little bit of a luxury item but you get what you pay for arc division reactor 19 3 compensated two wild guns i'm out love y'all peace